What is up? What is up? What is up? FS Club Train Sim World. We haven't been on this in a while. I thought, hey, let's uh, let's get finished with this. We already finished all the New York scenarios. That's done. I did a few services. Uh, I'll do the rest of those later. But right now, we have the still the Great Western Express. We still have the Rapid Transit and the new DLC, the West Somerset Railway. And there's also supposed to be a new, a new, new DLC coming out sometime later this month, I believe. The one I want to do today is the West Somerset DLC. So uh, let's get into this. Uh, rolling hills, golden meadows, and seaside views are yours to experience in Train Sim World. West Somerset Railway bringing Britain's longest heritage railway to life. Oper operate your trains in a diesel gala environment and keep the tourists entertained with a diesel bashing display of powerful locomotives thundering through Somerset's beautiful countryside. Sounds nice. Let's go. Okay, of course we're going to probably do a little bit of tutorial so we can get used to the train and everything. Sorry if my voice sounds a little bit different. I'm, I think I'm starting to get sick. So. Okay, we have the Class 47. <clears throat> uh, looks like we're up in the air. Okay, there we go. Ooh, look at this locomotive right here. This is definitely different than the Amtrak we've been driving. D1661. This is a Class 47 diesel electric locomotive in British Rail Green livery. This tutorial will go through the start and stop procedure. Climb aboard to get going. Okay, enter we're in Minehead. Okay, into the cab. So oh. right around here. Uh, let's open the door, climb the steps. When you're ready, sit in the driver's seat. Okay, well, let me shut the door first. Uh, ooh, driver's seat's on this side. Isn't it kind of funny? Okay, Amtrak in the USA. You know, uh, we drive over here, right? In the USA. But on Amtrak, it's right over here. Britain, uh, they drive on this side of the road. And on this side of the car. But on their train, it's on this side. That's it's just weird to me. Okay. Ooh, it looks like old gauges right here. You can press R3 to switch between camera and UI. Yes, I know to about that. To get the loco started, set the battery isolation switch to the closed position. Okay, we're... Of course, it always has to always be back there. To activate the control desk, set the master key into the on position. Okay, let's set that thing on. Set the reverser into the engine only position. Okay, engine only. Reverse engine only. The locomotive is now ready to be started. Push the engine start button on the control desk. Did I start it? Okay, there we go. Can't really tell the difference. Ooh, there we go. To release the air pressure holding the wheels, set the driver's brake to the running position. Okay, let's set this to the running position. There we go. go wait for the brake system to charge. Geez, takes a minute to charge, doesn't it? Okay, we got the engine start, stop, fault, wheel slip. Engine stopped. How long does this brake take? There's not as many buttons as there was on uh, the Amtrak. With the locomotive running, to get going, set the reverser to the forward position. Okay, let's set this thing to the forward. To make others aware that this loco is operational, switch the headlights on. Okay, let's switch headlights on. Oh, that's easy. Turn the parking brake handle to release it. Okay, we're parking. Whoa, that's weird. Finally, to get going, set the throttle to at least 20%. Okay, let's go to 20%. Oh, there is no 20%. It's just on and off. Okay. Oh, we're finally moving. Not really pulling anything. Four miles an hour. OK, 
Okay, we have to reach 10 miles an hour. So we're at six. Yes, yeah, see, I can't, can't mess with that at all. Six point nine seven. Now that, that noise finally stopped. We got a little, whole bunch of buttons right there. Does the gauge actually work? Uh, I don't think it really does. Well done. The local okay. The All right. Set the throttle the off. Speed, set the Okay, they probably have to uh, put the parking brake on in a second. Back down to nine. To bring the locomotive to a gentle stop, set the driver's brake to the initial. There we go. And can we stop before that? I highly doubt it. Who knows? Maybe. Yep. 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 In two miles an hour. And there we are. Take this basic training and apply it to further operations, and you'll do great. There we go. And we also got a, a trophy for that. Really wish we can use those coins in it. Okay. So let's push the continue button. And let's go back to the main menu. So that was the tutorial for the West. So now we're going to do the first uh, first scenario. Okay, let's see what kind of scenarios we have here. Okay, we have one, two, three, four, five. Okay. Uh, preparation work. Take the assigned locomotive from Wilt Wilton Diesel Depot and run it light down to the Bishop's L Lidard, ready to start services for the day. Okay. So let's take this one. It says it's a 30 minute run. We'll see though. Yeah, which is what I'm playing right now. Exactly. West Somerset. Okay, preparations work. Okay, here's our beautiful train. Uh, take the engine down to Bishop's Lunar for the start of operations. Okay. So let's climb up the stairs. Oh, I guess set the tracks ready for departure first. Ooh, so with this one, we actually have to train, uh, switch the tracks. Uh, this lever. Hear the gravel beneath my feet. Okay, so let's change this. Okay, objective is complete. Okay, now we have to go back to our locomotive. The 2C83. Okay, and let's close that door. Just in the driver's seat. Okay, let's turn the master key on. Uh, set, the, set the reverser and headlights. Yeah, we gotta. Uh, where's the reverser at? Let's turn her to on. Engine only. Let's turn the lights on. I guess we're supposed to turn it on to uh, forward. That's not what it said in the tutorial. Okay, set the brakes and release the throttle. Okay. Oh, not overcharge. Running. And turn the throttle on. Oh, maybe I'm supposed to put on release. Huh. There we Right? Maybe? Nope. I guess that's it. <laughs> I did turn the throttle on. Oh, there we go. You fool right there. Whoa, we are going fast. Is it, that's how you cause accidents. Okay, let's uh, turn that initial braking on for the second before we can slow our uh, speed down as I think it says what five okay that's good right there 
we're about to hit the 10 mile an hour, then we should get a little bit more faster. Hopefully I don't have to switch any more of these tracks. Uh, uh, let's see. Uh, where's our train at? Train's right here. Yeah, we should be good all the way there. Uh, let's turn the throttle on a little bit. Get some more speed. Really, really slow. Uh, let's turn the throttle up a little bit. Let's let's hear how this uh, how the horn sounds. That's a weird horn. <laughs> Get turn the throttle off. Okay, we're about 40 yards away. Okay, now, oh wait, now we just need to keep going. Okay. okay don't go too fast. Because this thing can pick up some speed. If you really wanted to. Okay, we're going to the Calcom Heath, Heathfield Loop Platform. Okay, let's turn that up a little bit. 8.7, 8.9. Some really good views. You know, in New York, all we really seen was basically just buildings everywhere. This is more open. You know, like kind of kind of the stuff we see in the Family Simulator. I want to hit that 25 mile an hour. Okay, so we just get to go down all the way through here. Lots of curves. Jeez. How far do we gotta go? Okay, gotta make sure we don't have to switch tracks here. I hope we don't have to. It looks like it's going right, so. Okay, let's actually speed her up. And as you can see, we do have the green light. Yeah, you hear that engine kick in right there? Yeah, buddy. And now we gotta turn it all the way off again. <laughs> Dang speed limits. Beautiful. What is this? West Coast or Oakfield over here? <laughs> Can't turn that thing back on. We got 5.2 miles to get there. So we got quite a ways. Turn that engine fully on. Keep turning it on and off, on and off, on and off, on and off. We are going up a slope, so that might be uh, accounting for why we're slowing down a little bit. Let's see if you can see, there's a uh, one percent slope up. So, okay, well, uh, well, while we're going, I'm gonna. Can you open this door? Oh, I guess that's not a door. Maybe, maybe not. Okay, well, I guess all we're gonna be doing is sitting down then. Ooh, I don't need those straight brakes. I need uh, my other brakes. Not worn off. I uh, forget how you change it. Dang it. Dang it. Dang it. There we go. Driver's brake. Uh, yes, running. Look at these views, though. Wow. Look, oh, it looked almost like there was something right on the track. Okay, 4.7 miles. It's 9.49, uh, we should probably arrive there, that's what i say, about 9.55, probably. At least that's what I'm thinking. Uh, looks like the slope is getting a little bit bigger. So we might put that throttle just a little bit more to help us up here. Well, now it's slowing down a little bit. 0 0.8. Come on, go in this straight. And let's get some speed up here. 
not liking this 25 miles an hour. And that's really slow, mainly for being right out in the open. 18 miles an hour. 19, okay, now we're starting to climb, get some speed. So we're going past a little village right here. Which would be signs like, you know, like what village this is. 21, 22. You can see the air pressure, the VAC, amps. Uh, we're at 0 0.6, so we can start at 0 0.2. We can actually start slowing this down now. 25 miles an hour. Okay, we're not at a slope at all now. So I'm just going to keep the throttle off and just just float right through there, hopefully. Oh, now we're hitting a slope again. Okay, we had that little flat area, and that was it. We're still 4.1 miles out. Uh, let's uh, get to remember how to... Okay, there's external cameras. Uh, front camera. There we go. Now I gotta remember how to uh Ah no. Yeah, forward. I gotta remember how to actually I guess hold on. Just turn it up. Did you hear that engine? Wanna kick it on? That engine is one loud engine. It just mm, dies right on out. See, I forgot how you actually have to, uh, how you can actually look around your train and all that. But we'll figure it out. It's been a while since I've actually played all of this. Let's go to the desk. Dryer, I should actually say. Okay, let's turn that throttle up a little bit. We're at a 1.0 uh, slant. Uh, let's see, 3.6 miles left to go. Okay. Yeah, I know we haven't got much mods on Farming Simulator. Uh, that's all because they've been testing out a lot of FS19. And they are actually like a skeleton crew right now. Barely anybody's working. And today, Wednesday, August, uh, October 3rd, if you're watching this on October 3rd, they are actually on a banking holiday in Germany. So that's why there hasn't been really no updates. So probably this week's just going to be really fact sheets. That's it. And of course, my Let's Plays. Okay, oh, let's see, you got 3.4 miles, we're still going 23. Okay, so we're going to call this an episode. When we get, Next episode, we're going to actually finish the rest of this and hopefully get into the next scenario. I thank you guys for watching. Make sure if you guys did like this video, you guys pound that like button. And if you have not sub, make sure you guys do. Uh, also releasing a Let's Play for Farming Simulator today. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Have an awesome day, farmers. Bye.